so Ald needs to complete some quests. Back to the hunter's ring. The doll with uh, some new dialogue. She's asleep. So we are in a dream inside a dream, and maybe the doll is inside another dream. <sighs> Welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? I want to talk. Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. So, this loop has been going for quite a long time, if it seems so long ago, it's probably has been a long time ago, uh, but she's also like in a dream, the, the time does not go the same way. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I don't understand really what she means, by finding my worth in the waking world. Contradicts a little bit. She's saying that Kerm is not seen on the dream. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice. As every hunter before you. Only chance will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters will take in communion. So, German, don't understand his motivations so far, but he's telling us to go to find the chalice. Whether because he wants us just to do what hunters do. Like, like you said before, or maybe there will be some consequences that will benefit him somehow. He is here only to advise hunters, so I'm guessing I'm no special than any other guy, and you probably would say the same to any hunter. Monster, the holy chalice, like did within the tomb of the gods and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men but if the old hunter tales remain true one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? So, regardless of the motivation, uh, right now it's the best that he can do, he still needs to seek, to seek pale blood but all those who feels curious about the chalice so he has no reason to visit all the Arnhem to tease if he wants to keep just seeking for pale blood he can also just buy buy this I will buy just to have all items, this is a piece of cloth 
that signals the end of the hunt and you can open the, the plaza door with this I'm going to buy it just because I will level up later and I don't need as many souls for now I level up it will also be nicer because I won't be over leveled uh, so the night was triggered so I'm going to check the, the new things so there's, there are some changes because some time has passed when you trigger cathedral wards so Yosefka is uh, no more now we're going to meet a new character the imposter So the imposter is exactly where Yosefka was, but she isn't Yosefka. Oh well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You are still not to hunt, I presume. Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yosefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic Oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them, perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted. Well, off you go then. So Ald notices the difference in Yosefka's demeanor. Before she was really careful about, about the patients. Now she's actually actively asking for us to send people. So she's definitely not the same person. Somebody is uh, posing as Yosefka but you now have the option to send people to Yosefka's clinic where they will become experiments let's put it that way I think we're not going to send anyone to Yosefka clinic uh, because yeah Alt knows that this is a trap if you find anyone who's still human, send them straight to Yosefka's clinic. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. Yeah, even the first time I played that phone is extremely suspicious. And I didn't send no one to Yosefka, because she's clearly not trustworthy to let Gilbert know that we actually reached the cathedral and ask him about his health. Hey Gilbert, are you okay? If you mm. oh, yeah. concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I So he gives us the flame sprayer that might mean that he's a companion of Judah. We'll see the description later. But yeah, he's an outsider, he might have been also marked as a hunter. 
and uh, it still has some dialogue in here. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. surely have a happy ending so we escape the plague of beasts that seems obvious maybe not covid but the plague of beasts definitely uh, it might also well i think that our character is sick or he also came here to bot sometime somehow because he wouldn't volunteer just for this for no reason um, and I think this kind of serves as a mirror of us, also an outsider, the same goals. He's convinced that he survived this dude, he hides inside, he, he was probably marked as a hunter but decided not to hunt. He probably was part of the, the workshop of the gunpowders because flame sprayer, So maybe it was part of the healing church? Yeah, yeah, it was not uh, a gunpowder, it was part of the healing church that sprayed the beasts of Yarnum, of all the Yarnum. Yeah. Uh, that probably was also, seems to be good natured, so we didn't go through with it. So we've seen Yaseska, we've seen Gilbert, the other root people, I don't think they changed the dialogue, at least not for now. Uh, now, before going to the little girl, and the old lady, we have to talk with um, the beggar, or I don't know what to call him. Uh, Johnny. Johnny hmm? Oh, you must be Aha uh -huh. Very sorry The incense must have masked your sin Good, good I've been waiting for one of your ilk These hunts of everyone All locked up inside Waiting for it to end It always does Always has, you know since forever, but it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going back. Screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarman's bountiful, I tell you. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Odin Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell him to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> so this guy doesn't look very trustworthy. He actually superficially he looks less trustworthy than the doctor, but 
is very earnest on his desire to help. He's actually a, a good character. I don't, I don't know if he has any name. Uh, can call him Johnny for now, because he's rotten. So. Quests. I'm going back to Gilbert's area. Now that uh, I unlocked um, that safe house, dog keeps on sleeping. I think Herman disappears. Yeah. Maybe he comes over here to dream too. Sometimes he does that, yeah. Just slips. Sound design of this game is really out there. Even these details are really cool. I think I got anything. New that I can buy? No. They're both asleep. I think it's the first time I see both of them asleep. Uh, what I can to do? Centrally on. So there are two quests on this part of the night. If you if you kill uh, the little girl's grandfather, she won't accept going anywhere. So her quest kind of ends there. She stays at home. I believe that's the the only the most positive end to our quest. I think Gilbert now just says for us not to worry with him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something is going on there. For, for sure. Spoiling everything, I don't think there is a single good happy ending on this game. Or it might be, I'm not sure. It's a really layered game, I would say. remembers the old lady that needed a place to to go and 
Ronaldo always saw himself as kind of this guy that likes to help despite being on a hunt. He recognizes that some people are, are victims. So he decides to to let the old lady know. So you go through the aqueduct, you go up to a, a wooden stump, uh, the door on a wooden stump is open, you just go up and yeah there's a guy that looks like a creep there, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny will help you, he's got lots of incense. I think you'll be safe there. I, I believe that. Okay. You don't need to be so rude. Most people are really rude in this game. So, I'm trying. Okay, I'm not sure this will work or this will change anything, but I'm going to put full Gascoigne's wardrobe to talk with her daughter. I'm actually similar to Gascoigne to see if she, she has any sort of reaction if she recognizes that I killed her dad. Except for the first wolf. And the bosses. So we know that the other lady doesn't know what to do. That lady still keeps thinking that I'm depraved because I I knocked on her door. So I'm dressed like like her dad. Let's see if she that she reacts to that. No, a lady with the red bush, right? I'll let you know if I find her. Sorry, can't find her. Couldn't find her yet. Also, don't know about your dad. Please don't look to my bloody clothes. Oh, okay, I can wait. But isn't there something I can do? Maybe mom and dad are stuck out there. Maybe you can find them. Maybe you can find them. Well, no. You should not go look for your mom and dad. You really shouldn't look for your mom and dad. You should go go down here and then go to the aqueduct just run to the end of the aqueduct go up go to Odin Stomp the door is open past Odin Stomp you'll find uh, a guy that looks like a pervert trust him he's a, a good guy okay just do that Mr. Hunter, I love you almost as much as mom and dad. 
Yeah, so mom is Viola, dad is Gaston, granddad, uh, almost positive it's Hendrik. So about this scarf, Gaston, there's a few clues about who Gaston is. It's like a regular hunter garb, but with pungent, beastly stench. So the blood of the beasts that we killed kind of infects him because his garb is well, full of blood. Uh, and he's uh, from a foreign land. Uh, So he was a member of the Healing Church. He left the Healing Church, according to this. So probably he retired from hunting for the Healing Church. He started hunting freelance and just tried to have a family. Uh, probably he had to part ways with the Healing Church because he found in love with Viola. Not nothing, nothing else. And so it just took his pants off. It looks nice like this. <laughs> uh, I don't think she says anything else. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. Yeah. I love you almost as much as Mum and Dad. So I'm sure nothing will come of harm to you. Uh, I'm now going back to the chapel dweller. Uh, yeah, this way. to avoid killing this pig just to make more sense he was not trying to avoid killing me Is on the loop. This game is really, really good looking. So I'm going to check if everyone made it safe and sound.
you can see the old lady made it racism against outsiders there is this thing about the blood being tainted so I don't know if it's ever explicitly explained but these guys have a philosophy behind their racism they're not just uh, racist there must be some theory or some conspiracy theory that, or some prophecy that uh, says that outsiders are to blame for the the problems in Yarnum. I think it's obviously not this kind of outsiders. The problem in Yarnum are a kind of outsiders, like material outsiders, not really outside or so but people and simple people might have confused the things and that's why they are so racist so xenophobic because they might confuse outside of Yarnum with outside of this plane He's just a, a very nice person. If you find any sane survivors, well, send them a lot of word in chapel, will ya? <laughs> it keeps on just being a jolly little man. But at this time, Halt starts, starts getting preoccupied. There is the girl. I'm going to retrace her steps. See if I can find her. So I'm going back to the Hunter's Dream. So this will be the conclusion of the girl's story, but far from the conclusion of the family story. So for now, we know that Gascoigne killed Viola. Uh, we killed Gascoigne. And the daughter is going, is trying to get to Odin Chapel, but hasn't got there yet. So Gascoigne was a hunter, also an outsider like us. Uh, he probably was like this religious fanatic that decided to come to Yarnum, but then he fell in love with the daughter of his companion, which when we get to Henrik we'll understand that Henrik was his companion, which probably means that he's the grand, the granddad that the little girl mentions. Um, so yeah, so right now there's Henrik and there's the little girl, still alive. Uh, Viola was killed by Gascoigne's beast food, we took care of the son.
child is clearly worried about the girl. She thinks, well, she could not have come this way. I'm going to see if she's still on the on her house. She's a little girl. Maybe she was afraid of coming out. She looked brave. She wanted to go to her parents, but I wouldn't blame if she wouldn't go out. That's what all this thinking right now. Keeps believing. It's very obvious that things will not end well for the girl. So okay, maybe the girl got picked up by this guy. They still hope the girl is up there. up, see if the girl is still there. No response. She went. Why hasn't she arrived yet? Wait to see. Oh. I said her in the path of a giant. I guess probably she sur survived. I don't see any remains of her. Oh, I didn't clear this area before, so maybe this guy, maybe this crow's got her, maybe this one's. The pig got her. Red messenger ribbon. Let's read. So the little ones like to dress this. That's the dress of the little girl. So the little girl will try to get to Odin Chapel and instead of, instead of going up here and maybe the villagers visited because she was a child. Maybe the villagers wouldn't do anything. She decided to go through the sewers. Like it's really hard to see the pig without light. And yeah, she went straight to the jaw of the pig. The pig got her. We got the pig and we got a quest item. This game is beautiful. like to say that the sadism of this quest is over but it will just keep on going and going and going so 
One of the things we found out is that the inhabitants of the dream, the little ones, they like to dress stuff. I'm going to give the, the clothes of the little girl to them and they just love it. I don't know if this means anything at all, if this means that the little ones are not super nice or if it means that the little ones really respect the dad, so I don't know what this tells about the little ones, but they like to to dress weird bloody stuff. So for now the quests are done. I can proceed with the game. He had a conversation with German. German awaken these awaken these interesting going to find a chalice. All this still kind of okay. The doll she doesn't lie I think and she tells that German advises the hunters. Maybe German is just doing this function, he's advising the hunters. Maybe that's what's best. I think he's hiding something but Maybe that's what's best. I'm going to try to go to the old hold the Arnhem, although I can open the plaza. I'm curious to see hold the Arnhem first. So I think that Gilbert probably enlisted on uh, the healing church. But then when they saw the brutality of the healing church, killing people at Old Yarnum, he, he gave up the healing church. That's why I said that he barely used the weapon. He probably arrived. Okay. Uh, I don't think he was a hunter now, then, because probably, yeah, he just enlisted the healing church, the healing church as hunters, but not all member members of the healing church are hunters, so maybe he enlisted, he could or not have been a hunter, he could try to have been a hunter and have a flame sprayer, but then he just saw the brutality of what happens in all the army and gives up, so all the Arnon is only for the beasts and I'm, I think I'm going to stop this video here and then I'll do one just clearing all the Arnon and the blood starved beast.